Hello, my name's Richard Stubbs. I'm from NHS Grampian based in Aberdeen in Scotland. I'm the head of my organisation's medical electronics service and also chair the Clinical Engineering Specialist Interest Group within the UK's Institute of Physics and Engineering in Medicine. I shall be talking about the IPEM or IPEM, which is our principal professional body here in the UK, and explaining how it contributes to and supports practice in clinical engineering. IPEM has four core roles. These are guiding assurance mechanisms that ensure that the public are protected when aspects of their care and well-being comes under healthcare science and engineering professionals. Getting involved with government and the work of governmental organisations and steering decision makers on professional matters requiring expert support. Providing a support network of professionals working in healthcare science and engineering and working with the schools, educational establishments and institutions to inspire and promote interest in all aspects of our profession to bring new talent into health physics and engineering. IPEM oversees and supports physics and engineering healthcare professionals to both attain and to maintain the level of professional registration required by legislation and relevant professional guidance for them to practice safely, accurately and effectively in the UK. IPEM runs the Register of Clinical Technologists. It hosts the system of entry to the register and conducts monitoring and auditing of continual professional development or CPD activity for registered clinical technologists. This covers recording of learning activities, practice development and safe application of learning by practicing clinical technologists. IPEM publishes expert reports and journals. It publishes professional practice guidance, peer-reviewed journals and a professional magazine that takes topical contributions from its membership. IPEM funds audits and research projects. It provides prizes, awards and grants for innovation, travel, for professional ventures and learning opportunities for its members. It also provides information on grants and other funding opportunities from external organisations. A collection of reports have been developed by working groups under the Institute's specialist interest groups. The collection illustrated here has been overseen by the Clinical Engineering Specialist Interest Group. IPEM publishes these international peer-reviewed scientific journals. The Institute publishes a quarterly professional members magazine called Scope that includes article contributions from its member base. IPEM endorses Biomedical Physics and Engineering Express, a broad, inclusive, online, rapid review journal devoted to publishing new research in all areas of biomedical engineering, biophysics and medical physics. IPEM is active in advising and lobbying key national and international decision makers whose decisions affect safe and effective working through changes in political philosophy, demographics and economics. Members engage their collective professional knowledge and expertise to the writing of policy, standards, guidelines and legislation and to practicable delivery of services. The forums for doing this include parliaments and the devolved governments and assemblies in the UK, Europe and across the world. IPEM funds members to contribute their expertise and work with other partners and stakeholders engaging through consultations, working groups and standards committees etc. IPEM supports engineers through a range of professional activities and networking opportunities. These include a wide and comprehensive scientific meetings programme, CPD schemes for clinical scientists and clinical technologists and physiological science practitioners. There is a specialist interest group dedicated to clinical engineering. IPEM hosts engineering council registrations such as CENG, ING and ENGTECH. 
A range of prizes, awards, bursaries, travel grants and innovation funding are accessible as enablers for its members and peer-reviewed articles are published in IPEM's International Journal Medical Engineering and Physics. IPEM specialist interest groups play a vital role in overseeing scientific activity in particular topic areas. They provide a body of expertise on their specific areas of science or engineering within the Institute. Their contribution includes planning and delivering a programme of scientific and educational meetings, producing authoritative publications, monitoring the development and impact of new technology, monitoring and contributing to development of relevant standards and legislation, commenting on workforce issues and impact of policy changes in their area of endeavour, encouraging and developing evidence-based practice, encouraging liaison between members working in different working environments, for example, academia, industry and hospitals and supporting and encouraging relevant educational programmes. IPEM currently has 12 specialist interest groups covering these topic areas. The Clinical Engineering Specialist Interest Group, or CESIG, oversees engineering activity within the field. It meets three times a year to review its activity plan. The Clinical Engineering Specialist Interest Group has been active in setting up topical professional meetings aimed at helping clinical engineering professionals to build upon current aspects of their practice. Here are some examples of recently conducted events and events in planning. These meetings offer excellent opportunities for both members and the wider audience connected with IPEM stakeholders to contribute to the collective knowledge within the profession by presenting their work and sharing their expertise. For delegates attending, besides the obvious learning opportunity, these events help form professional relationships and forge networks between people working in the field, nationally and across the rest of the world. The Clinical Engineering Specialist Interest Group has recently been involved with developing these publications. In regard to inspiring the next generation of engineers, IPEM has been active in engaging with young learners through these events and resources. More details of these can be sourced directly from the Institute. It's, it's really important that we promote opportunities that get school-aged children interested in science, technology and medicine in order to improve the numbers of medically specialised engineers in the future and to build practicable and accessible entry routes for them into the profession. IPEM is an organisation that is made up predominantly from its members and relies on their professional activity to be effective. It serves to coordinate the collective effort of its members with input and peer support from its numerous stakeholders. If you are interested in becoming a member of IPEM or getting involved with its work, or are interested in working with its clinical engineering or other specialist interest groups, please go to IPEM's website at www.ipem.ac.uk for more information. Thank you for watching.